We've been getting a lot of questions from people asking why Maxwell Chikumbuzo couldn't get a patent for his invention, whether in Zimbabwe or elsewhere. The answer lies in a fundamental law of physics and the strict rules of patent offices worldwide. And Max can get a patent any day of the week, he can get it even today if he wants to. We will explain why and how based on the patent law of perpetual motion from an article written by Gene Quinn. There's a link in the description to the article in case you want to read more from the article. First, let's address the issue with the interview where Maxwell explained his patent struggles. We apologize for the loud background music and any difficulties for those who had issues understanding his accent. We should have added captions for clarity. According to the laws of physics, a machine can't produce more energy than it consumes. This principle is at the heart of why Maxwell's invention has been rejected by patent offices worldwide. His microsonic energy device, which claims to generate energy from ambient radio frequencies without any external input, has been labeled a perpetual motion machine. Patent offices, including Zimbabwe's, routinely reject applications for perpetual motion machines because they're seen as scientifically impossible. The rejection is based on a utility rejection, which means the invention is deemed to have no practical use if it doesn't work as claimed. But here's the thing. Maxwell could still get a patent if he can produce a working prototype. According to patent law, the only way to overcome a utility rejection for a perpetual motion machine is to demonstrate a working model. The prototype would need to be thoroughly tested to prove that it produces more energy than it consumes. If it passes these tests, the patent office would have no choice but to grant the patent. The problem is Maxwell has never provided a working prototype to the patent office. This raises questions. Is he afraid his technology will be stolen if he reveals too much? Or does he simply not have a working model to show? Without a prototype, patent offices have no way to verify his claims and his application will continue to be rejected. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. In 1987, an inventor named Joseph Newman claimed to have created a device that increased the availability of usable electrical energy. Like Maxwell, Newman faced patent rejections because his invention was labeled a perpetual motion machine. The case became a landmark example of how patent offices handle such claims. You can read about it from the article, but if you want me to talk about it, comment Newman. So what's stopping Maxwell? If his invention works as he claims, producing a working prototype should be easy. You can listen to this other interview that was done on Zim I in 2023, and from it you can tell that if Maxwell tried applying for a patent, he did so only in writing, and he didn't submit any prototype. The interview doesn't have any moving pictures. Some parts are in a language we think might be Chichua, but we don't have any in-house members who can help us with translations. Oh, I was checking, you know, um, you, you haven't registered the patent, have you? Up to uh -huh. now, I was checking um, in the States uh, yes. and because I was just searching uh, for your name. I was also searching for uh -huh. the concept yes. and I couldn't find it anywhere in the registry. And, and, and I was just wondering, is there any reason why you haven't registered yes. a patent for your invention? Yeah, since since is, is it 2012 much. when when you started? When, yes. When, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, so, I started in 2009. So 2009. Yes. So we're talking now. Yeah. We're talking uh, 13 years. Yes. Mm. There are both. So you yeah. know, mm. Mkuma, Sorry to interject you. Yes. Sir. Mkuma Simba, in in 2010, I was in UK, and I I was at a very big law firm trying to file a patent. That was my first experience here with how patents work. What, what did they do at the patent office? One thing, they check with the cartels, cabals, who fight new and renewable energy. Because, you know, threat to my interest in Wakawanda. Then the second thing that we saw firsthand is not everything that is invented can be patented. Since we find another way in Koma Simba, of going around and trying to use a radio frequency in making energy. So because of that, they say it is not industrial applicable. It already more it as a perpetual motion device. That's why I Google up on which I want to put thousands and thousands of technology. Safe and key and lock to say. So we have got those patents that are kept in different countries with the different uh, attorneys. For security reasons, that if I die today, those things is not all and Amberi. So I think that is the challenge that we faced. Do you know which law that is? Sorry, help me. 
um, that you are saying here yes. and, and 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 who exactly yeah. would deny registering a patent i just want to try and understand because yes. I, i'm looking at um, i'm looking at the patents registry right now several registries and i can see numerous numerous power energy related um uh, inventions here that uh, like for instance one here renewable energy system with integrated um home supply pa home power supply system there are numerous here that i'm i'm looking at so I, I just want to understand um who exactly would deny registering your patent uh, on the mere basis that um there is a law matimi mpane mutemo you say that there's a law yes. that 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 makes them to refuse your patent on the basis that it defies the laws of physics and i i thought when an invention comes out there it is because it is innovative it is disruptive and uh, who would deny to register a patent because the whole idea in you registering a patent is that it is something that is new you're registering something that is that has not been there before and something that you yourself have either invented developed discovered or but uh, or both or all of these uh, uh, components of um, of of of, of a, 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 a development so who, who who would deny you to register the patent what they do mkoma simba when you file for a patent the first one the first process you file what they call a provisional patent where you just write in abstract a is equals to b c whatever you just put it in you just link it i'm doing a b c to achieve this that process is managed with the science the patent examiners they benchmark it i'm here please go ahead okay okay then the second thing like i said the patent examiners they will see the technology impact let's say the technology is deemed to to end up promoting a monopoly automatically because of that it cannot be registered let's say the technology will kill people automatically it is novel but it cannot be registered that's why if you read you will see that some of the guys who came before us i cannot compare myself with the late nikola tesla is a great scientist i'm not even a fraction of what he did but i'm just trying to point out what he, he went through all those things and when he died his work was taken zinu is no protect or energy it is one of the few very very dangerous and that i want to assure you i've seen it and but I'm seeing a lot of people here who, who have, who have, done, can... who have registered patents yeah. in the very period from 2012. I mean, I can send you this screenshot right now. 2012, I... from 2012 you... up to 2021. All these are, all these are energy, energy, um, based patterns here and and, and 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 can i can i can i can i say here when i do a search okay. on each each and every one of these people i just want to see um their their lives okay if they're alive if there's have been anything that um has threatened their life i think i should phrase it that way i i, I don't see anything you know, here the, all these the people are, are can hear i've got david hakim I've got Steve Hug, I've got Edward Shenekandoff, Sarah Cartwright, Zachary Ax, all these people, none of them do I yes. see Mkoma who has Simba. had any life threatening issues around uh, Mkata, their their safety or security. You are right. You are very right. the technologies they have done, even when you look right now, they're not even used anyway. World ya tiri mkoma simba ini vano wani controller. Saka ma controller vano ya ndiye kutu ukawa sika shikunu ya shawo. Waka wona kuti this thing there is potential. Shua shua you pay the price. Saka mchua wona kuti there are others. Let's talk of another Stanley Meyer. Stanley Meyer he did his, his car using water in the United States. 
he was found dead. Nikolai Tesla, the same date. You, if you see my groundbreaking technologies, I'm not trying to post, no, 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 but I think I'm going to quiz my technologies. I don't change our opinion. Because our technology can work in anything. It can work in a car. It can work in a TV. It can work in a light bulb. So, this is something that is threatening the whole energy sector. We are sort of like rewriting history. And uh, there are no control of that. No, you cannot do that. I've got a number of companies for the past who are coming to me saying, no, sell this technology to, to us. Just leave it. Until now, I think I want you to talk to, if you can talk